a super quick video. I have a reason to, well, I made an HF aerial, which I haven't done for years today for 20 meters. And I've discovered this amazing tool. Notice I just changed this on QE SDR to TDOA, uh, time difference of arrival uh, for signals. And now I'm selecting receivers in the medium wave band all of these receivers are online and all of them have a GPS connected to them so of accurate time and I can call upon them or the software can call upon them to locate transmission stations now you might have some reason to do this I, I was just looking at these today because um, I need I needed to do some stuff in the 20 meter band and I thought well other people have got receivers so let's use their receivers so this is set it up set it up and I've tuned to Radio Caroline um, for historic sentimental reasons that uh, European people will understand and there it is and that's where it is now at Orford Ness I'm not quite sure where that was or it wasn't so I selected obviously this voiceover is coming after I've made sure this worked so there's me finding out where all fitness exactly was. I didn't mean, you know it was. Here we are. Find this site. There it is. Uh, best look at Google Maps. But this this is really exciting. If you need to track signals uh, for whatever reason, um, then people around the world are making it easy for you. This used to be hard. I've done this on VHF before. So this was a hard thing to do with a muddle of software. But now it's trivial if they're on HF. That is my house. So get the spelling all for Ness right. There it is. Now I'll zoom out. That's where all for Ness is. Oh, look, there's Atomic Research Place there, which I didn't know. It's on the southeast side of, uh, of the UK. So all the time this has been happening that's been processing in QBSDR. Um, we go back and look at that, boom, <laughs> geolocated, sort of. Obviously you could play a little bit of time fiddling around with this, but if you've got some weird signals on HF, you're wondering quite where they're coming from, and there are enough online QBSDR receivers around and about, this is how you could find it.